let me show you how we can create this transition once you have both clips that you want to use on the second one we're going to find the frame that we want to use for the image part all right i like this section right here i can actually just copy these and i'm going to go one frame backwards and i'm going to press shift r we'll freeze frame the clip if that doesn't work you can press r and now select freeze frame right here and now the next thing we need to do is actually use a magic mask or if you don't have studio use a polygon to mask out your subject so we're gonna go into fusion and i'm gonna mask this out we're only gonna be needing that first frame so we're gonna actually add a time stretcher and then leave these at zero now you're set now that whole thing will stay like that all right we're gonna bring both of these a little bit on top of our first clip Right now, the next thing we want to do is go to the effects section and find the paper effect. Now, add these onto your clip. Now, if you don't have the paper effect, you can go to the Solve U website and download it from there. We're gonna get rid of the out animation right here, and you got, and you have to make sure that your clip is at least 22 frames long, so that we can track these backwards. In this case, it's 28, so we can actually just set this up to be 22. Now we can bring this over right here. All right, now on this paper effect, what we want to do is adjust a couple of things. First of all, we're going to adjust the paper base, which is these, and we're going to set it up to be covering our subject. And now we're going to get rid of the paper view control, set the apply mode to normal, and we can also increase the alpha gain. That way we only see that intro part of the paper. But that's an optional step. You can leave the paper texture if you want to. All right, so now we have the paper, but we need to add a little bit of tracking. So we're going to go to the media tracker section, press go. And now we're going to track these backwards. Actually, we need to have 22, 23 frames right here. So yeah, once we have 23 frames, we will be able to do this. All right, we're going to track these backwards. Press go and track these backwards. That is done. Now the paper should track correctly on top of our image. For the jump between these two clips, we want to add a flash transition. We're going to go to video transitions, brightness and flash, and just add a really short flash transition right here. And then you can play around with the brightness and saturation, however you want to do that. Now that's good, but we can add one more thing to make this look even better. We're going to go to the effects section and add the paper edge effect. And now we have this little edge effect onto our paper. Here you can modify the paper edge however you want. Feel free to do that and play around with these. And then the last step is to add the sound effects. In this case, let me show you. All we did was add these paper full sound effects and also a camera flash for the flash part. And now we can press play and we have that. Now I'm going to leave these for another video. So stay tuned for that one because it's coming sometime soon. All right, make sure to go and download the paper full effect from the Swavi website if you don't have it yet. That's it. Bye. Swavi.